guys welcome back to my channel i just made a huge matcha i put like two matcha packets in here and so hopefully this wakes me up because i'm just like exhausted this morning for some reason and also my allergies have been so bad so every morning i just wake up really like stuffy and groggy so sorry if i sound a little bit like raspy right now i kind of just wanted to bring you guys along with me throughout my day and show you guys what i've been up to do a little life update because obviously i'm not in my other apartment as you guys can tell it's never easy to talk about these things on my channel and honestly i'm not going to go into like detail or anything but if you guys have followed me on instagram you would have seen that i moved out of my apartment and if you haven't guessed by now my boyfriend and i have broken up obviously breakups are never easy they're not fun yeah nothing bad happened we just both changed i feel like we were together throughout the entire pandemic too and i don't know we both got really comfortable in the relationship and we just decided that it would be best for us to break up if you guys have been following me for a while you uh, know that i was in like a nine-year relationship and then i was in a two-year relationship with him i never really had the chance to kind of like be single and to be by myself first of all and just be alone and just figure out exactly what I want to do and I'm really excited because next week I'm going to be looking for apartments so I'm going to bring you guys along for that whole process all the apartment hunting and hopefully I can find a place within the next month I'm actually staying in an Airbnb so this is actually in an apartment building I'm kind of like testing out this building to see if I like it before I like move in potentially move in here I'm not really sure if I would want to move into this building. So I am going to be looking at other apartments. Pretty much all of my stuff is in storage right now. So I tried to bring as much clothes as I could with me. So I just feel like I'm like living out of a suitcase right now. Um, and I'm also staying here until the end of July. I actually just extended it because originally I thought that I was going to find a place by july but there's just like no way that i'm gonna find a place and also i just want to take my time to really look for something that i really like but yeah that is my current situation right now um, i know i was gonna get a ton of questions and i already have been getting a ton of questions on my comments and on instagram and stuff so that is what has been going on i actually wanted to show you guys my little apartment that i'm staying in right now and i'll show you like the layout and stuff so here is a little overview of the apartment here's the kitchen and then in the middle there's like a little table i have a ton of like boxes and stuff that i've been getting so just ignore the mess and then in here is the living room and then they also have kind of like this little seating area outside and this is really nice because it's been so hot recently. So it's nice to sit out here in the morning and just like hang out. And then when you go over here, the bathroom is in here. It also has a washer and dryer, which is really convenient. And then it has two closets over here. Like I said, I tried to bring as many clothes as I could with me. I have like a ton of jeans hanging up. And then in here, is my bedroom that is my current little apartment I and mean, i didn't want you guys to be like summer where are you like what have you been doing so sorry i haven't been posting consistently and stuff just been a lot over these last two months and i just love you guys so much thank you for supporting me and watching my channel you guys literally mean the world to me i just love you guys so thank you for sticking around and i'm just really excited to find a new place if you ever moved before you know the process of trying to find a new apartment figuring out where you want to live and stuff it's just a process so i'll bring you guys along for that i'm actually gonna get ready really quick and do my makeup and i'm gonna head to this owl event with my friend erica and they're having this week-long event in west hollywood at this house and there's gonna be like workouts food, music, and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. Since I'm going to kind of like a workout event, I'm gonna keep my skin and my makeup really nice and simple because it's been really hot here too recently. It's been almost like in the 90s. So every time I wear makeup, I just end up sweating it off anyway. I wanted to show you guys two new products that I've been using to get like a nice natural glow. And it's from Revlon's Photo Ready Rose Glow Collection. And I wanted to thank them for sponsoring today's video. These two products have been my go-tos recently whenever I want to create like a nice natural glowy makeup look for the summer and they just make your skin 
glow and it looks so fresh and dewy. So the first product that I'm gonna go in with is the Frodo Ready Rose Glow Mist. I like to use this underneath foundation because I feel like it just glides on so much easier and it really helps to prep your skin before any makeup. What I do is just shake up the bottle and this has naturally derived and sustainable palm and coconut oils in it and superfood complex to help hydrate your skin. So I like to spray this on right before I do my foundation like I said because it just goes on so much better. And it's like so nice and refreshing too. You can even use this after you do your makeup for like a little bit of a dewier look. The next product that I'm gonna go in with is the Photo Ready Rose Glow Face Gloss. And I love using this again underneath makeup because I just feel like everything goes on so much better. It gives you kind of like a natural glow. And you can use this on its own too and not wear any foundation. I love using this when I go to the beach and I just wanna wear no makeup at all. So this is kind of like a part skincare product, part makeup product because again it has superfood complex in it. What I like to do is use this amount on my face and this is made up of 80% water so it's a nice lightweight hydrating gel and it doesn't feel sticky at all on your skin which I really love. This color is perfect for any skin type too. It's like a universal iridescent color. I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty um, Brow MVP just to like brush through my brows really quickly. I'm not gonna like go overboard with my brows because whenever I do like a nice natural makeup look. I don't like to have like harsh eyebrows. I'm gonna be using my Hula bronzer and a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna be putting this a little bit on my lids and just blending it out. Um, it just adds like a little bit of color without like looking like you're wearing a ton of eyeshadow. This has been my go-to recently. This is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. And it honestly looks like you're wearing eyelash extensions. So I'm gonna put like the slightest bit on. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Revlon Colorstay 24 Hour Foundation. And I'm in the color 250. I got the normal dry skin one because recently my skin has been a little bit dry. This color is just amazing. It looks like I'm wearing no makeup, it's nice and natural. But you can also build it up too if you did wanna have a little bit more coverage. And I'm just gonna use my beauty blender just to blend this all out. And for concealer, I'm gonna go in with Revlon's Colorstay Concealer. And this is a full coverage concealer. But again, you can just like put it a little bit on. It's really lightweight and it looks like you're not even wearing concealer. It just covers up any blemishes or dark circles that you have. And I'm actually in the color 30. This is light medium. I just like to dot it on in any dark spots that I have. I don't like when you can really see your concealer and this one is so lightweight. It doesn't even look like you're wearing any concealer once you put it on. I've been using a lot of like cream products recently because I love how it's like really nice and dewy in the summertime. So I'm gonna be using my Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer in the color Macchiato and I'm just gonna be kind of contouring my face with like an angled brush like this. And I've been loving this so much. This is from Glossier and it's their Cloud Pain Storm Blush. So I like to use this and just dot it on my cheeks. It looks a little scary right now because it is like a little bit of a darker blush, but once you blend it out, it looks like you kind of have like a sun kiss glow. Then to set my face, I'm gonna be using obviously the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So I'm just gonna pat this on the places is that I mostly get oily. Lip products, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple too. You guys always ask what products I use. So when I'm doing like a no makeup look, I still like to wear lip liner and gloss. So I'm gonna be using the KKW number two lip liner and the Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth Gloss Balm. These two together are just a dream. After I'm done the rest of my makeup, I'm gonna use the Photo Ready Rose Glow Mist again and just spray this on my face just to give like an extra dewy look. This is the completed look. My skin just looks and feels so fresh and dewy. And honestly, it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing any foundation too. So I highly recommend checking out the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This is also really great too because it stays on for 24 hours. So you don't have to like worry about it sweating off. And I also highly recommend checking out these two products too. If you're looking for something for like a natural, glowy look, even if you're going to the beach and you just wanna wear these on its own, these are the perfect products. Everything will be linked in my description box. So definitely check out their products. And thank you to Revlon again for sponsoring today's video. So I'm probably just gonna like throw my hair up into a bun. I do also have a hat, so I'm not sure if I wanna wear that, but I'm gonna change really quick. I actually wanted to show you guys though, 
the clothes that I got from Aloe. And I love these biker shorts. I love wearing shorts in the summer, so I'm not hot. I don't really like wearing like long pants. And these ones are really comfortable. I actually own a couple pairs of these already and they're really high waisted. I love how it like cinches everything in. And then I also just got this plain white sports bra and it also has like this little V cut right here. So it's really flattering. And then I have this little tank top. I love wearing this in the summer with like biker shorts again. I love how it has like the little aloe right here. And then I also got this hat and these crew neck socks. I love wearing these with some sneakers. So I think I'm gonna wear these with the biker shorts and the little sports bra. And then I'm also gonna bring this bag with me. So I think if you spend a certain amount of money, you get this bag for free. And it's just like the perfect bag to take with you. You can even take it to the beach to the gym. I have my workout outfit on and it's so comfortable. I love these biker shorts and how high-waisted they are. And then the sports bra, the bag from Aloe, so I can just throw all my stuff in here. Some Nike Air Forces, crew neck socks, and then for jewelry, I just have on these hoops from Urban Outfitters and these necklaces, rings, and bracelets are all from the brand Enroute and they're one of my favorite jewelry brands right now. I seriously never take off these pieces at all because they're just so amazing and they never rust. So they're just so nice and dainty and I just think it looks good with the outfit that I have on right now. So I'm gonna go over and pick up Erica. She actually lives in the same building as I do. So I'm gonna go grab her and then we're gonna go head to the Aloe event. Hello! Hi. <laughs> oh my god, wait, I love that outfit! That's so Thank cute! You. I wish we brought our bathing suit though, because we could have went into the Yeah, pool. they didn't say anything about that. But it's hot. Yeah. It's really hot out today. Oh my god. But I'm hungry. So, I'm so hungry. Let's go get also, food. we have Erewhon here. So I got this cow salad with avocado. I'm pretty sure it has like beans and stuff in it. And then she got the kelp noodle one, which is also my favorite. It comes with like peanut sauce. into the car from the aloe event. It was so much fun. They get some cute things from aloe today. Yes. So I wanted to show you guys. Ready for the haul. She's already wearing I'm one. gonna be the model today. Yes. So <laughs> This little set, it's like kind of like a halter top. And it's, it's really like a comfy. cute little plaid purple set. And it comes with these little shorts. I also got a pack socks. of the black aloe socks that I have on cute. right now too, so. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, they're white. The white ones. are white. Yeah. Before we left too, they gave oh. us. I'm super hype about that. These little sweatshirts that say yeah. yellow. So that's comfy. That's so cute. We're actually gonna go <gasps> I meal prep. And it's also hot right now. It's like 90 degrees oh out. Oh my god, sorry. I'm trying to do the air. <laughs> okay, so the thing about meal prepping is you have to start today. You can't say you're starting tomorrow. When you say you want to start it, you're gonna start it. So we decided yeah. we're gonna do it now. Finally went grocery shopping. We're gonna meal prep some stuff when we get back and I'm gonna have everything ready to go for the week. And it's just really nice to like have everything so you don't have to like even worry about it. You can just have it in your fridge, do your workouts, and everything's like healthy. You don't and even have to think about it. And we're hold each other accountable. Yes. So we live good. so close. Like she's in a different building <laughs> than I am, but we're in pretty much like the same building. Basically so neighbors. Which pretty was much. an accident. That's the funny thing. It was literally an accident. I had no <laughs> idea when I was booking my Airbnb that she was going to be there. Like it doesn't tell you the address. So when I found out the address, I was like, there's no way, Erica, that the I'm right next to you. Same freaking complex. <laughs> so funny. Welcome to Erica's kitchen. And I haven't even 
haven't done an apartment tour yet, so this is like a first look. <laughs> <laughs> but her apartment has like way more light, so we decided to cook here, and I wanted to, wanted to film everything so I can show you guys. But we just went to Amazon Fresh, and we got some Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, some broccoli, and chicken tenders. We're gonna prep this so we have it for the whole week. We're, we're all going more healthy. <laughs> I also told her about this because she was like craving whipped cream. So there's like a dairy free version that has almond milk in it and it only has one gram of sugar. <laughs> I'm, mm. I did so no, much. No, 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 no. It's really good. I'm having one of these too. It's Boochcraft Organic Hard Kombucha and it's the ginger lime one. It also has like 7% alcohol in it. So I'm having a drink while we're cooking. We're just throwing the veggies in here, putting a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper, mixing it up, and then we're gonna roast it. I feel like you can go like this. Oh, no, no. Where I are you learning these techniques? <laughs> <laughs> cooking with summer, everybody. <laughs> Not like I'm any better. I don't know how to cook right. that much, Garlic to be honest. Garlic salt is really Garlic sauce. Do you pepper. like hot sauce? Yes, but um, I had to stop eating hot sauce because oh, of my rosacea. rosacea. But now my rosacea is like pretty much gone. Now some pepper. Got back from Erica's. I showered and I'm just gonna like have like a chill night tonight. Um, I was planning on actually going out to dinner with my mom in Venice, but I'm just like not in the mood to drive all the way to the west side. And if you live in LA, you know how much of a mission it is, especially right now. I feel like the traffic is back to normal the way it was before. So yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here tonight, edit my video and just have a chill night. Let me know what other videos you guys wanna see. If you want me to do more day in my life vlogs or like weekly vlogs, let me know down below. And like I said, the apartment hunting vlog should be up by next week. So I'm excited to look for new places and bring you guys along for that. So hopefully I can find a place by the end of the month. I love you guys so much. Make sure that you're subscribed down below and I'll see you very soon. Bye.